Brain Trust Digital. I'm a full stack developer obsessed with learning. So if you're interested in learning full stack, please subscribe below to receive new content. In this quick tip, we're going to walk through generating a new public key from a private key, and we're going to use SSH key gen to do so. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why you may want to generate a new public key. Um, in some cases, maybe your current public key, uh, maybe you lose the file or the file come, becomes corrupt, but you still have access to the private key. Another scenario that we're going to actually use in this example is if you generate a new key pair uh, on your cloud provider, in our case, we're going to use Amazon, they only give you the private key. So to be able to have that public key so you can attach it to uh, different services or servers, you're going to need that that public key as well. So we're gonna walk through generating that in this quick tip. In this particular case, we're gonna be using Amazon to generate our private key, our .pem file. Uh, but you can do this anywhere, any cloud provider or on your desktop, whatever. Uh, this is just a common scenario where this could occur. So we're gonna jump into EC2, click on key pairs and create a new key pair. We'll call this one example. Click create key pair. That automatically downloads that for us. Down into the downloads folder. Um, typically then you probably wanna move this to your uh, .sh. <clears throat> so we'll drag the example file into our .sh folder. So the next thing you want to do is change the permissions on that .pem file. So you do chmod 400 example.pem. Uh, now we have our private key, but we need our public key so we can put our public key into uh, various servers we want to use or uh, um, like GitHub, deploy keys, things like that. Um, so next we're going to use a couple of uh, SSH keygen flags. Um, so dash help will give you uh, uh, the man page, give you some of the information there. Um, in our case, we're gonna use two flags dot F for file name. So uh, dash F for file name. In this case, it's example.pem. Dash Y will output a uh, public key that is derived from the file you just passed in the uh, dash F flag. So that'll output the public key to standard out for us. So now you can pipe this uh, into an example um, dot, dot pub. And now you've got your public key stored in your dot SSH folder as well. You can attach to servers or however you want to use that going forward. Please remember to like and subscribe if this was useful to you. Um, questions or comments uh, down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you in the next quick tip.